Well, from Texas to right here in New York City, the migrant crisis, though, is raging completely out of control. All that thanks to, obviously, Joe Biden's lack of border policy. Now, New York City Mayor Attic, Eric Adams is finally, finally admitting that the crisis could actually destroy New York City as we know it. Take a listen to this. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. Well, I never thought I'd hear him say that. I mean, what did you think was going to happen when you just opened your doors and said, we'll take you? You bragged about being a sanctuary city. You didn't think they were going to come? Well... Joining me now to discuss, Texas Congressman and member of both the Armed Services and House Oversight Committee, Pat Fallon. Sir, appreciate you being here. This is insane. Just moments ago, the L.A. Times reporting that the Biden administration is considering forcing some migrant families, though, who enter the country without authorization to remain in Texas while awaiting asylum. It seems like they're fine putting the wall on the northern part of Texas. What do you say about this? Well, I think, you know, first of all, Carl, Donald Trump had the right policy of wait in Mexico. If you're going to claim asylum, your case will be adjudicated. You wait in Mexico, thereby providing a, a huge disincentive for people to take a very long and dangerous journey from southern Mexico, central Mexico, and Central America. So I do believe that maybe Joe Biden, because he probably went to elementary school right around, what, 1842? He thinks maybe Texas is a separate country still. I'm not sure. But, yeah, you are not going to remain in Texas. So let's do a little bit of math. Eric Adams is finally recognizing the, uh, you know, the crisis, the catastrophe that the Biden border policy has become, they're estimating up in New York City that the 110,000 migrants that they have right now is going to cost them about $12 billion or so. So let's just say Texas has about 20 times that, 2.2 million. That means that, according to their math, it's costing us a quarter of a trillion dollars, and they're perfectly fine with that, provided it stays in Texas. This is an absolute travesty and it's a crime. Yeah, which none of which that money they will reimburse you for because they just don't mm -hmm. care about Texas because it doesn't electorally go for them. But the bigger problem here is like, look, even, even CNN, CNN of all people, they have a problem. Listen to this. I think what Republicans have successfully done is uh, to make immigration their issue. And I think what Joe Biden often struggles with is that that narrative, right, being able to reverse a narrative of failure and struggle and sort of reaction to crisis it's not versus just a narrative. being Mayor Adams proactive. has called on the sorry to interrupt, but called on the Biden White House over and over again for more action and more funding and more things to do. I, I'm sorry. The, the anchor on CNN corrected them and say, yeah, this is a problem. How about secure your border? Protect the people that live in the United States. Protect your citizens. This is our greatest calling. Mm -hmm. There are tens of thousands of Russians and Chinese nationals, mostly military age men, that are crossing that border. We don't know who they are, but we do know that those governments, those authoritarian governments, want to do us harm. So why in the world? This is insanity, Carl, that we had 3 million people, 2.4 million apprehensions and 600,000 known gotaways. So we don't know, of course, what the unknown gotaways were mm -hmm. just last year. Three million. And if Eric Adams is screaming a bloody murder over 100,000, that's 30 times. So what Joe Biden has done, as you so adroitly have pointed out, Carl, is he's made every state a border state. Yeah. No, he has. And, and also, it's not like he's letting you guys take, take charge of this. He's suing you guys and making you take down your floating barriers, your conics box walls in Arizona. It's crazy. Congressman Pat Fallon, always a pleasure, sir. Thanks, Carl. God bless.